the way we work and where we work and who we work for are the kind of questions that a lot of individuals are asking themselves. And if the individuals are asking themselves, then the employers and organisations have to ask themselves the same sorts of questions. In today's environment, hybrid work will bring many, many changes to both large and small corporations. Imagine that workplace, which no more constrained by physical space. People can work anywhere, anytime, collaborate with anyone else. The first thing to consider is the ability to scale, having the right infrastructure in place. I think COVID has brought to light the fact that virtual can really work very well, but it's also got huge potential to go much further. Data now is everywhere, the user is everywhere, right? How do you collaborate and communicate better? A lot of it is to do with maintaining the human relationships effectively through both virtual and physical mechanisms because human to human interaction is still the best way to resolve uncertainty. In the age of automation, customers will use RPA technology and AI technology to help streamline operations taking mundane work items and automating those in a manner to lead to high-level productivity. With this new normal, new situation, we will also create new opportunities. For example, people will get stronger support from the machine, artificial intelligence, proposing them augmented capacities to be able to take faster decisions. How do you start using some of the, you know, cooler technologies that people are talking about, right? Automation, machine learning, AI, right? These are all great buzzwords, but most businesses, honestly, they just don't know where to start, right? What does that mean for me? You need to optimize before you automate. You do not want to automate a bad process. <laughs> That's not going to help you. It's an evergreen question. How do we keep our data, property, and the people secure when everything is changing? As customers make the shift to cloud or cloud first, there's going to be an increased need for added security. There are different types of security now which are very important. And uh, there is this uh, physical security. For example, there have been a lot of uh, development during the COVID with cameras, thermal cameras, just to look at the temperature body. There is the people security. Now, I think the enterprise needs to, to take even more care from their employees today. And finally, there is this cyber security. So people were almost bringing their home inside the office. So it has raised a lot of security uh, questions which are still ongoing. Choose who you are, choose whom you are with, hold on and embrace change. Change is inevitable. We have tools, we have the right technology, we can source talent anywhere in the world. We can help customers solve some really, really big problems that they face in the future. Giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta.